Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. So it's that time again where I just get super excited to play this household. Yeah, so I was actually thinking about adding a few mods to my game to kind of make things a little bit better, more exciting. There's a few mods that I was thinking about adding. So those are like the Better High School mod, um, as well as After School Activities mod. I've seen them around. I haven't watched any overviews on them myself. But I was thinking about maybe possibly doing them. I don't know. I haven't decided if I want to do mod overviews. I think they're fun to watch. So I felt like I've only done, I think, one in the past. And plus I did like a mods video on like mods that I use and stuff. So maybe I'll consider doing it. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. But if you guys happen to see a mod overview video from me next week, then you guys will know if I've decided to do it or not. Let's go ahead and continue on. So I thought Cinder was going to go to school today, but apparently not because... She just turned into a teen, so she does not have school today. But I was thinking about kind of getting her into, like, I guess the popular crowd in a way, but also being super sporty and active because I feel like that is her personality. But I feel like she's also the type of girl that would be friends with, like, everybody, but be more so in, like, a popular crowd per se. I would love to go ahead and add a teen hangout probably more so next episode than this episode uh, because I'd love to have her you know get to know people and stuff. Actually I mean I could go ahead and just add one today. You know what no I'm gonna go ahead and add one today so we can actually go out and meet people rather than me just kind of like not doing anything. Until next episode that's still like a week away so I say that we just continue. What is this? Work out for eight total hours. Oh, work at a gym venue. Girl, we can do that. We can make like a teen gym. Oh, yes. Okay, you know what? I'll be right back. I should have been prepared for this, but I just got super excited. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're back. So I was going to do like a teen gym, but I couldn't find anything that's like that. I mean, I could just add teen hangout to the gym, but I thought I'll just keep it normal and we can just head over to the gym whenever we want, which you probably will do soon because I want her to, you know, finish that little task there uh what i was having sunny do is actually work on the spaceship wait rocket ship i mean <laughs> so she reached level six of the rocket science career oh no she's about to find out that buttercup is gone no sunny oh no so in the comments actually of the last video someone suggested that i could like bring her back to life using the ambrosia treat which i completely forgot is a thing and i thought you know what i think i might actually bring her back i know i brought uh, Sydney back last, um, well not last season, but last generation, but I thought that since, I mean, Sunny is still gonna be an adult for another 19 days, plus her elder years, I thought, why not bring her back, because, well, I want her to be around for a lot longer, and, uh, Raz was around for a big chunk of Prim's life, I think, right? I'm pretty sure she was, so I think that we might bring her, and maybe we'll get another pet, I haven't decided yet, so we might actually have two pets i really didn't want to have more than one usually uh in like a household like this because there's so much already going on but i might consider it so obviously we have to wait for buttercup's ghost to come back but i think we might have to go and head over to the uh vet clinic to go ahead and buy the ambrosia treat so i think we're gonna go and do that now just so that we have it in case she ever comes back obviously i don't think she's gonna come back right away because of the fact that she just passed last episode but maybe she'll show up so uh we gotta go ahead and head over to the vet clinic which is at brindleton bay and uh hopefully they i'm pretty sure they're gonna have it i think it might be expensive though so i don't know if we'll have enough money to get it but i guess we'll just see about that because i I just want her back. Like, I already, like, miss her so much. And we haven't even played, like, so much time without her. Uh, I don't know. She's just, like, a cute, like, dog. And I just, oh, I miss her already. I just want her back. So, I'm hoping that it's not expensive. That's all I'm hoping. And probably will be. We only have 1,497 simoleons. So, and that's because we just spent 700 on upgrading the, uh, what's it called? The rocket ship. So, <laughs> Just, that's a lot of money, but I want to obviously work on this as well. So we still need to upgrade the rocket. Okay, wait, wait, wait. All right, ambrosia. No, treat that resurrects your pet. It's two thousand five hundred simoleons. <gasps> okay, it's fine. We'll get it. Our mailman or our mail woman, I should say. You know, couldn't reach our mailbox, but managed to throw some mail in there, even though it's 
you know, right there out in the open. So hopefully we got some toys in the mail that we can go ahead and sell. That'd be great. And then we could get some money enough to buy the Ambrosia Treat to get our girl Buttercup back. So let me check this out. Do we get any toys that we can sell for some money, honey? What are you doing? Okay, you should just be working out. Work on, uh, shoot around. Let's see. Did we get toys? Uh, we got, yeah, we got one. We got some seeds that we don't need because we don't even grow any plants. Um, we have so many of these, though. Do I sell these? Upgrade parts? We get $10, so that'd be 640 simoleons if we just sell them. And we'll probably get them back anyway. And then we can go ahead and just sell these. Because I don't need these sculptures. Oh, maybe she finished making some uh, earlier? I don't remember if she if we made any furniture. I think we might have. Let's see if we have any wooden furniture in here. Okay, so we don't have any wooden furniture, but we can go ahead and sell these plates because I don't want these. I don't use them. We can sell them. But do we get this? The mono, the monolith, a faceless slab pierced once with a perfect circle, stark, ominous, arty as heck, unlocked at level 8 of the astronaut career while in a smuggler branch? Like, what's the purpose of this? Is there even a purpose? Can we, like, put this out here for, like, decor? Like, do we do that? When I'm placing things, it freezes. Why is it this household that does that? Did she make this? Where did we get this from? This fist bump? screams loudest what the heck is that but we do have enough money for uh the ambrosia tree so i guess we'll head over to the vet clinic again and go grab that real quick come on let's go so we're back at the vet clinic and now we can go ahead and actually buy it uh we're gonna be super super poor after this but i mean this is what we do to get our pets back and i think it's worth it if this was a thing in real life i would buy as many as i could i would have all my pets back like there's no doubt about it but unfortunately, real life is not Sims, and you can't just get a tree and bring back your pet, which is so sad. Okay, so we only have 192 simoleons, which is literally nothing. <laughs> so we definitely need to make back our money somehow. I don't know exactly how we will, but we'll have to figure out a way. As a part of Sunny's career, she has to go on space missions. So I think we're just going to have her go and head off to space. And then later tonight, we'll head over to the um, teen hangout that I placed down in Oasis Springs with Cinder so that she can maybe possibly meet some new friends and stuff. Oh my god, I was like, what's happening? <laughs> and I forgot that she's going off into space. So we're going to finish her space mission. And we need to get her skill to level 8, which I don't think she's that far into it unfortunately okay space madness sunny is suddenly feeling anxious and jumpy there's a strange tingling sensation in her hands and feet and she feels a little lightheaded could she have space madness could be something wrong with her airflow uh let's do let's swap the co2 scrubber let's see what happens okay so ash let me see what do we need to do with you we need to get your uh comedy skill up so you better be working on comedy in here honey uh let's compose some more routines here or should we refine a comedy? Or sh my god, my voice is doing that weird thing again. What the heck? Okay, we're good. I don't know why my voice does that. It's so annoying. Uh, it's like when my when I don't s swallow my saliva right, it just like does that. It's so weird. Um, getting worse. Hmm, this is a little disturbing. Sunny thought that would help. The next symptom of space madness is paranoia and bad decision making. Why didn't the fresh air tank help? It must have been a conspiracy. Sunny needs to deal with this right now. Ooh. Open tank to investigate, throw away tank, investigate it. Because what if you need that tank for something? That wouldn't be good if she just threw it away, like chucked it. Bye. <laughs> okay, so she is level two of fitness. I think we could probably have her level up. Or after, I think once Sunny comes back from space, we'll go ahead and head over to the gym with uh, Cinder. Suspicious. She unseals her air tank and peeks inside. There's nothing in it. Nothing at all. Suspicious. She puts it in the airlock and jets it into space. A few minutes later, she sees an empty air tank float by her window. How did that get there? Is someone following her? Is that the rogue tank a, a listening device? Oh my gosh. Bring it in and blow it up. It's her tank though. Wait. I don't know. Do we bring it in? Let's see. Let's blow it up. Let's see what happens. Watch her need that tank. Blow it up. The tank is no match for the powerful laser on Sunny's rocket. Zzzt. 
It incinerates in a cloud of metal dust. Looks like she's outsmarted the government ages on her trail. What's Sunny's next move in the high stakes game of cat and mouse? This is so funny because it's her tank. Wait, let's leave a false trail. Sunny gathers up some random garbage and debris and ejects it into space. Now the area is littered with empty bottles and cell phone Oh, and cellophane wrappers. That'll throw them off the scent. Quite pleased with her smarts and in ingenuity. Sunny heads home. Okay. Oh my god, that's so funny. Sunny has safely returned from exploring the cosmos. Okay, so does that mean that that counted? Oh, it does. Okay, awesome. Get some cereal. Oh, she's dazed. Wait, why? Oh, yeah, space madness. Space zero G, the spinning. It's so unnatural. Must escape. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so amusing to me. I don't know if it should be, but I'm very much so amused. Okay, so Cinder, I think that what we'll do with you... Maybe we'll wait till the kids come back, come back from school so I can set them up and all that. Stormy's going through a phase. She's feeling very rebellious and will seek to challenge parental authority. Oh girl, you better not be challenging parental authority. Not in this house. No, no. This is why I can't record during the day, because all you hear is like motorcycles, cars, freaking just everything outside of my room. It's so annoying. I'm sorry. Like, I can't stop it. Like, it's it's just freaking noise. Maybe if I had a better mic that could cancel out noise, that'd be great, but I don't. So, um, you know, we're dealing with what we got, so... Anyway, uh, so Ashford is writing the gr the sporting events are great comedy routine. Okay, well, I don't care. Um, no, I mean, I do care. I'm sorry, Ash. That was not very considerate of me. Okay, so you're eating cake, and then we'll have you go take a shower. And we're going to have you guys do your homework right away, just so that we don't forget about doing it, you know? Since we are um, very studious children. All right, so now that we have that set, we're going to go... Oh, no, she's tired. Okay, nah. We're going to skip out on the gym. We're gonna have her relax, sleep, and get ready. Grace is going through a phase. He's found his spirit animal, and Grayson will only want to wear his bear suit. Oh no! We haven't had this in a while. Or wait, didn't Sunny have a phase like this too? I think Sunny, yeah, Sunny definitely did have a phase, a bear phase. Oh my god, he's got it after his mom. Okay, either, anyway, let's go have him uh that present was for you be grateful be grateful child come on okay go do this oh wait this cake is still good where did sunny head off to is she oh she's working out she didn't even i don't think i don't think she even ate oh well so cinder no 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 cinder 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 okay we'll have you just i want you to be prepped and ready so that when we go out you know you'll be in a good mood and stuff and not uh wanting to cry and go to be and go to bed so We'll have her, you know, do all this, go to sleep. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to say, I changed their bedrooms. So this is the twins' bedroom. Obviously I made it a little bit more um, childlike. It's still pretty mature for a children's room, but um, that's what I did for them. And then Cinder has this room here. Again, nothing too, too spectacular. There's not much gray stuff uh, for like bedroom, like beds especially, so I just decided to choose this one. And then this one is Misty's room. So Misty took Cinder's old room and um, pretty much has everything the same except a few things moved around. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's that. Right, we're supposed to get Cinder her part-time job, but I think we'll do that uh, in a couple days. Like maybe, well, maybe on Saturday we'll get her her part-time job because for now I want her to like, you know, live her teen life before she has to like start working and helping around the house and stuff. I really want Buttercup to come back. Can we just have her like teleport out somehow, strengthen connect connection to physical world. Okay, there's not really much I can do. Okay, can you- Okay, Sunny, I understand you're a very playful sim, but honey, no. Grace, I thought you to I told you to go to the bathroom already. Did you even do your homework yet? You haven't. So after you go to the bathroom, what? What do you mean? Sunny, why are you even in here anyway? Oh, shower. Okay, go take a shower then. <gasps> Whoops. Who the frick is this? Giovanni Baxter. I've been thinking maybe opposites attract. Okay, she's married, sir. So back off. Do not even try, honey. She is happily married to her beautiful, beautiful man named Ash. So stop it. I hate when people try to get with sim my Sims when they're already taken. We get Sunny's pretty, but like stop. <laughs> she got a text from somebody named Shane Golds. Oh, that's her. 
He's actually kind of cute, though. But that's her, that's her cousin, I think, right? No, that'd be his, her uncle? Cousin? I don't know who that is. I'm so confused the family member. Is it, wait, are we related to him? Maybe it's just coincidental that he has the last name Golds. Let me check, let me check. Yeah, we are. Dang it. And he works in customer support. Aww. Okay, I think it's time to stop eating the cereal and let's go, okay? Let's, let's head out. Come on, let's go. Let's go, it's time to go. Ooh, this place is kind of cool. So we've got some bathrooms, we have, oh, this looks, that's, oh, I like this. Is this like a dance floor? It is, oh my God, I actually really like this. I love these chairs. This is so cool. Okay, oh, we have a basketball hoop. Yo, no, 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 we're definitely making a club, but this is gonna be our, like, our hangout spot. I don't know what to do, just, hangout crowd okay is anybody gonna show up because it's gonna be really awkward if it's just us i mean we could just hang out for a little bit you know just chill maybe we're the first ones here come on teens where are you at though come on is this an actual community lot i think it is right yeah it has to be there's no way that this isn't i don't know if this lot is broken or what <laughs> but there's nobody here so like i don't know what to do i wanted to meet people come on guys like it's not like don't you guys want to come and hang out late at night and just chill and relax like what the heck no just me <laughs> what the heck? i just want to have friends okay um cinder i'm sorry to say but nobody's showing up and i know you really wanted to get to know some new people meet some new faces but apparently nobody's down to hang out on a thursday evening at 11 p.m. So, with that being said, I think we're gonna go back home, unfortunately. Oh, he's not in his bear suit. Oh, aw, is that why you're sad? Check up on. Check up on who? Your sister? Are you guys checking up on each other? Oh, they're, oh, they're proud of their dad. Oh, that's so cute. This family has, like, I feel like the deepest connections to each other. Like, it makes me super happy. You guys are adorable. People need to stop coming to our house. We don't want to be friends with you. We don't want you especially because you're going to turn us into a vampire and that's not what we want, okay? We love living the mortal life, okay? Yeah, freaking yell at him through the window. <laughs> Upgrade. Continue expanding fueled storage tank. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this first and then we'll have our work on fitness. Okay, so she finished it. Upgrade complete. Sunny has finished installing the rocket upgrade. Oh, awesome. So now she has to... Oh my god. So we do have to end up reaching logic level 10 anyway. So achieve level 10 of logic. Fix or upgrade 5 objects. Okay, that's going to be easy. So now what else can we do? Upgrade. Okay, so we're still able to upgrade all this stuff. Okay. So we can only do the wormhole generator when we reach level 10 of rocket science skill. Dang it! They're making this seem so much more, like, we have to spend much more time on this than I expected. Okay. It's fine. We just gotta do a lot of grinding out here, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I went to the Ting Hangout lot to see if anything was wrong with it, and it's completely fine, so I have no idea why it was, like, not working and nobody was showing up. But maybe it's just the time that we, like, showed up, you know? And I think what I'm gonna do is probably add some teens from the gallery into the world just so that we have some more, I mean, good-looking teens rather than, like, you know, her family. Because I feel like a lot of the teens that are in this world are family. Actually, most of them are now, I think, adults. But either way, I want to add some more, you know, cuties into the world. Um... But yeah, so I really want to like live out her teen life and have fun with it since I really feel like I don't like play around with, you know, teen life all that much. So I think that since Cinder is going to be our um, heir next year, next year, <laughs> our next heir for Gen 4, I thought might as well just kind of like play out as much with her as we possibly can. So that's why I'm probably going to try and do, you know, a lot. And we have 12 days, so... I mean, it's not a lot of time, but I mean, it's still significant enough to, you know, do some stuff with her, which I'm excited about. We're gonna have him practice. Oh, we could just have him practice comedy routine in the mirror. I didn't know he could do that. Awesome. So we'll have him just talk to himself for a while. So this is working charisma and logic? Oh no, just comedy. Okay. I, I said logic. I meant charisma and, and comedy. No, wait. I don't even know what I meant. I, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> <gasps> ah, okay now it's working charisma because we have to do practice speech so we have to master so many more skills with her like this is definitely going to be a lot more challenging and more grindier if that makes sense uh which <gasps> oh. 
I mean, I've accepted it, the challenge. Like, this is the challenge, so I need to do it. I need to believe in myself and do it. Cinder met Ezra while at school. Ezra, are you cute? Oh, you're an alien. Why is everybody aliens? Like, I get, like, we were invaded, but, like, please, let us meet some normal sims, please. Oh, my God. Ask the kid to stop. See, like, look, you're an alien, too. Like, hello? Like, sir, stop. Go. Corey, shouldn't you be in school? Wow, you're ditching school? Shame on you. Mama wouldn't be happy. Even though I don't know who your mama is, but, like, it doesn't matter. She wouldn't be happy. <laughs> okay, so he's almost leveled up to level 2 here. Okay, there we go. Level 2. We can go ahead out and have him uh, search for some collectibles. Does he have work today, actually? He does in 7 hours. So we still have plenty of time before he heads out. Who is calling? Uh, hack attack. <gasps> Cinder's trying to hack into school computers? Warn her. Cinder's responsibility fell out of range to earn the response. Cinder, are you serious? I'm ashamed of you. How dare you? Wow, hacking into school computers. Shame, shame, shame. Okay, we're gonna have her, I mean, not her. We're gonna have him come here and dig up all these piles. <gasps> Cinder invite over classmate Ezra? I mean, okay, I don't Cinder's responsibility trait is in a range. Oh, good, finally. <laughs> Uh, Grayson's an A student. Oh my god, you guys are doing so well. I'm so proud. Okay. Oh my god, we got seven time capsules. Thank you. Okay, that made us a pretty decent amount of money. I'm happy. Okay, so Ash, definitely come home and come take a shower because this is, um, not, you're not in your best mood right now. Okay, have a quick meal, animal crackers. All right, what I want to, I really want to go to this teen hangout. So I think we'll head over there now. So we're here with Ezra and I'm hoping more people show up because I swear if nobody does I'm gonna be super upset because I want to have people come and have fun you know okay let's go ahead and hire we, do we have to pay for okay I'm not paying hello dance battle oh we can use this music we can do a group dance one two step in with our friend with our only friend Ezra yes wait is this a teen oh you're an adult. Are you a teen? You're an adult. Are you? You're definitely not a teen. You're an elder. Guys, please come hang out. Did Ezra ditch us? Oh no, he's here. Maybe he's gonna be your best pal. Who knows? Maybe we could give him a new makeover. Maybe he'll be looking good, you know? Ezra, let's do a dance together since you're our only friend. Come on. I believe we can do this together. I promise. We're good. Yes! Hey, hey, come on. Oh, I love a wall. Oh, look at her making friends. I keep thinking he's wearing knee-high socks, but it's the color of his skin. <laughs> Aw. Yeah! We love hanging out with our one friend. Why is nobody else here? Hello? Come on. Guys, I promise this place is cool. Are you a teen? Oh, you're an adult. Dang it. Maybe there just isn't enough teens in the world. I don't know. Maybe that's the case. I mean, there's another teen that we saw, but he was an alien. So I don't know if all the teens are just happened to be aliens or what the case may be. But yes, take your selfie queen. Okay. Oh, he's coming to talk. I say we're going to go back home and definitely uh, next episode, we're going to make her some more friends because this is just so, like, sad. <laughs> Having, like, no people here. Oh, she already worked out for a total of eight hours. We just need to go to the gym then. Okay. I say we head over to the gym then. Just to get that out of the way. We're just gonna have her come here and work out. Oh, we can work out together! Oh, cute! We love a friend that works out together. We love a, uh, workout Betty. Oh, my favorite songs, uh, uh. Yay, okay, so we finished that milestone. All right, so achieve level four of fitness skill, push the limit for one hour while energized and own two pieces of workout equipment. Easy. I low-key wanna wait and see if Buttercup will come out tonight as a ghost, but I don't know if she will. So I'm gonna play and see if that happens, but if it doesn't, then I'm not gonna fuss about it. Um, and we can just wait until a future episode, but I'd rather do it as soon as possible rather than wait, you know? All right, Buttercup, please come out, please. I'm like about to like stalk this freaking grave waiting for her to pop out. Literally though. 
Okay, um, so I saw somebody at our door, right? And I thought that it was this girl because she's been just hanging out over here. And then I saw somebody grin. I'm like, wait, do we know this person? And we do not know this person, but look how scary she looks. Like, who, ha, who are you? How'd you get into my game? Like, what? What is your name? Holly Strout. <gasps> wait! No wonder why she's Vlad's kid. Oh my god, he done you dirty, honey. He's done you so dirty. I am so sorry. Oh my god. Yeah. Vlad and Olivia. Oh my god, girl. I am so sorry. He does that to people's kids. Mm hmm. I know that firsthand from my 100 baby challenge. Buttercup, please come back to life. Come on. Wait, she is here! Oh, I didn't even notice! Oh my god, Buttercup! Baby! Honey, I missed you so much! Oh my god, wait. D come here. Um, um, um. Uh, feed her the ambrosia. Wait, can we add her to the family? Okay, add to family. And then feed her the ambrosia treat. Friendly, give ambrosia treat. Oh. It's like disappeared. <laughs> oh my gosh, she like rised. Oh my god, you're back. You're back. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Buttercup. Oh my god, let's go ahead and give you a bath, my baby. <gasps> Yay, Buttercup is back. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Why am I actually overjoyed to have a dog in Sims back so bad? Like, I'm actually like, oh my god, welcome back. I love you. I love you. I missed you so much. You were only gone for like a couple days, but like, it's felt like so long. Oh my god. I'm going to be even more sad when she dies again, but I feel like then it'll be okay because I feel, hopefully Sunny will be a lot older then as well. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, what? Shouldn't she be aging? Wait, I'm confused. It said it, it was working before, right? Okay, it must be a it must be a glitch. Cause these guys are aging. I don't know what's going on with her. I don't know. He ages up in eight days. Oh my god. Wait, did her her age thing didn't get reset, right? I don't know how it would have. Now that she's back, I'm so happy. Oh, okay. That made me just, okay. I feel like that's a good part to end the episode off on. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys. She's so bright. Oh, my God. Bye, guys.